Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Scott Lennox here, fishing OC, hooked on OC, deadly tackle. Fun day in store for us today, man. We really don't care if we catch anything today, but today is our annual trip aboard the Bay B out of the Ocean City Fishing Center. All my boys from Sigma Pi Fraternity International at Towson State have come down. We're going on a fishing trip. We're looking for flounder or whatever bites, but like I said, we really don't care if we catch anything. Although, the water looks real good. We're on a good tide. Captain on the boat is really good too. I think they're gonna put us on some fish, but this is what it's about. Thank you, Terry Lachlan. You're taking us back to college days. Guys, we are about to have some fun. Alright man, Mickey Finn's here, everybody's paying their tab and uh, we're gonna head on down to the boat and get fishing. Let's go. They have uh, sunglasses Okay, so we're on the Bay B guys. Uh, Captain Larry and mate Dimitri. This is Dimitri's first experience with the Sigma Pi Flounder Pounder, so yeah. good luck my friend. It's gonna be interesting. The trash is all empty. Yeah. Alright, heads pumped out. Yeah, right. <laughs> Alright. Um, and so these guys do two trips daily, right, Larry? Yep. Yeah, eight o'clock, eight o'clock yeah. in the morning, and then again they go at one o'clock. So eight to noon and one to five are the two trips here on the Bay B. You buy tickets right inside at the Ocean City Fishing Center, or super convenient, you can go to ocfishing.com, go hit the Bay B tab, and you can book right there, right? You can book tickets right there. It'll tell you how many are available. You can buy adult and uh, and child tickets. You can rent rods right on the boat here, right, yep. Dimitri? All the baits included. They've also got some sodas in the cooler if you need that kind of thing, if you don't, didn't bring it with you. But all the baits included when you do the rod rental, if you need sinkers and all that kind of stuff, everything is taken care of once you get on, on the boat. What we've done is we've booked the boat for the entire day just for us. Um, so you can do that as well. It's called a private charter. So if you've got a group up to, you guys take 26 now? Yeah, 26, 20, people. 26 people. You can take a group up to 26 people and then it's just your crew. Um, I've seen people, you know, groups take as few as six or eight people just so they can have the entire boat to themselves. We've got 12 or 14 guys going to show up today, but it gives us the entire boat to be able to spread out, have a good time. Uh, the guys can whoop it up a little bit, not have to worry about getting tangled with people that they don't know because that's the toughest part. Yeah, you, get, yeah. you get tangled with Dan Hackett, not a big deal. You get tangled with some guy you don't know from Pennsylvania or Delaware, that could be a problem once you get back to the dock because they do have a parking lot out front <laughs> where people can settle things out. Uh, but the guys are up there paying their tags. They're coming down here in just a couple of minutes, and uh, we're going to get out there and fish in this clean water and see what we can do. That's only in Virginia Avenue that I do that. <laughs> I never forget. I'm just <laughs> Fish pool time. Fish pool's easy, man. We're going to do biggest and we're going to do most. So, um, most is. Most flounder. Sea bass don't count, sea robins don't count, stargazers, none of that crap. Any size flounder Any size. counts. Keeper, like, rule, like in the past, rule is you gotta touch your fish to make it count for a release, okay? Great. Touch it any way you want. Mate can take it off the hook and put it back and all that stuff. You gotta physically touch the fish for it to count as a release. That's a hundred bucks to the winner of that. Biggest fish, easy, man. That, that's a, that's the biggest fish. It's gotta be a keeper because you gotta be able to measure it, weigh it, and all that kind of stuff to be able to tell whether it was bigger than somebody else's. That's 120, so 100 for the most, 120 for the biggest. Good luck. All right, I'll take 220 in the field. There we go. You're going to touch it, though. Ah, I'm going to touch it. You got to touch it. Bad boy. I got it. Oh, my God. 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 You were the first flounder, first right? First flounder, first one. Small guy, and you had a flounder also while the battery was wait, dead. Wait, no, that's not part of the rules. Okay. They were a little bigger, but it didn't matter. Just bite the tail of the cup. Oh my gosh. Well, this is small, look, this is literally the smallest flounder I've ever caught on a fishing rig. That is definitely the smallest ever on this This fish was not this fish was not even grabbed on was not even on the hook. This is a summer flounder. I can prove it because I've caught thousands. It was biting on the tail of the gulp. The tail of the gulp was about that far down his throat. But it still counts, boys. I'm on the board too. I don't believe it. So right, right here is a silver shiner. It's a little bait fish. A lot of people use around here. And then right next to it, we got a piece of squid. What I do to hook these through is 
I get the silver shiner first and I put it right through its eye on the hook. If you put it through the body, it usually just falls right off. And then you get the squid and you just put it right next to it. Make a little family and that's really all. Another, okay. another little guy. Nothing, nothing doing here. On the board though, what setup are you using? Well, I have I have a um, I have a distinct advantage over the rest of the group because uh, I have a distinct advantage over the rest of the group because I have a rig business. <laughs> so I have an unlimited. Oh, Steve Murphy, as we're talking, I'm talking my advantage over here, Murphy. Show me up. Um, I have an unlimited supply of deadly doubles and double troubles and stuff, so I'm using today, I'm using our deadly double. I'm using the chartreuse deadly double. We'll see if it makes a difference with the, the boat rig. Paul Williamson, my good my good friend and fraternity brother, went into the uh, store there at the Ocean City Fishing Center. He bought himself a couple so he could have the advantage too. We'll see if it's an actual advantage at the end of the trip. Right, That's, a small one too. That's a tiny flounder today. He's in the lead with two. Dennis Signata joins the ground at one. Nice. So we got several people on board now with one. We're only 40 minutes into this trip. The tide's still moving really fast. And when it slows down, I think they're going to bite even better. We got loads of people. With, I think we have more people on board with one fish than we do with none. And that wasn't a jab at anybody, even though it could have been. <laughs> Now we're going to have to start keeping track of who doesn't have one. Brian. I don't know. How long did you fish? How long did I fish? Yeah. I had the rod in the water maybe 30, 45 seconds. I'm kind of a pro like that. So, you know, I don't need a lot of time. I'm taking a break. I'm having a Miller Lite here. I'm just going to chill. And then we're going to get back in the water and I'm going to win this whole thing. It's going to be great. Let's go. <laughs> oh, not quite. Dang it. Watch it, Drew. That's a keeper. That wipes up. I did it first. Yeah. Keep yanking as hard as you can. That's the best way to give it a boat. Yank it harder, Paul. That orange double trouble looks good. Yeah. I know, uh. Oh, boy. Oh, oh, I remember chicken. Did not touch it. I didn't see anything. I didn't get him. He was at Jess's throat. Well, hey, I make the rules. I got to stick by him. <laughs> I didn't, didn't reach for I didn't it. touch him. Yeah, I did. He was so tall and quick. That's all right. It was more where he came from. Hey, I there he is. He got that one. I got that you one. Get one. Looks yeah. like the same one. It might be. Yeah. It might be. Hey, Tim. Now I'm up. We're going to go pick up Gertz. Captain, what are we doing here? I'm not quite sure. Have you ever had to go pick up a, a person off of a dock before that's never made your boat? Yeah. Was, they were with Scott's friends. Uh, of course. Oh, it's phone. Oh, no way. Get, get on. Get on. Get on. Get on. Things haven't changed much. Right. Ah! <laughs> I made it. How many now for you? Three. Three. So what are we tied for three now? Yeah. It's on my donkey cold. It's the only thing I like to catch. <laughs> That's a new setup I haven't seen before. Oh my goodness! Jesus. That's a keeper, dog! That's, That's a four, four man! <laughs> That's four, too! That. That's four fish, too! That's Jeez! Oh my yeah. Wow, Drew! Yeah. There he is! My man, Jeff Harris, otherwise known as Droopy, on the board. Not as the only in the lead, but the biggest fish. He's not only got the biggest fish with the first keeper, he's also got four total flounder! He's winning both! You got four fish? Whoa, for you today? Three. Three, okay. So you're you're keeping in the lead. Yes. All right. How many flounder have you had to, caught so far today? Right, so far I've caught and released by the rules of that I made by touching the flounder two. I've had four. I would be tied for the lead right now had I touched two other flounder that flew off about the length of my ride away. But right now I'm in a like five way tie for third place with two. <laughs> That's a big one. Yeah, that's a decent size. Got him. Attaboy. 
Scott, I've never seen you let somebody else take your fish off before. <laughs> really? <laughs> Dimitri, you're a very good yeah, mate. I try to be. <laughs> I used to do what Dimitri does, so I want him to learn the ropes, man. Get the experience, <laughs> the bullet bait experience. Scott, <laughs> can you bring me up to date? Um, yeah, yeah, we're, we're looking at, uh, we're looking at the lead right now is four fish. I'm one back with three fish. Droop is in the lead in both the biggest and the most. He's got four fish and he's got a keeper at 18 half inches in the box. Um, there's a couple of us with three, more than that with two, few with one, and then I think there might only be one guy left with zero. Um, he just happens to be standing right next to me. I, look, I, have, I get greater pleasure in seeing these guys' happiness. Oh, nice. It's like a little bit aggressive. Oh yeah! Woo! <laughs> that's not me. Oh, that's you, Scoot. Is that three for you? Is that three? Whistle for me. Fifteen and a half. Oh. Eighteen and a half. No, fifteen and a half. There you go. Looks like a sea bass, only small. This is the biggest sea bass ever caught in these waters. It's bigger, it's bigger than anything. All right, I'm uh -oh. tired. I tried. Scott took I know, that's what I did, TJ. I'm out. I did everything I could do. Hey, right. that's it, man. Took the lead on, took the, lead on the most. Dimitri was hooking me there. up with a little uh, release. Thanks, Dimitri. <laughs> I did everything I could do. Took Did you the lead with five. Do? Number to beat is five Index now. Man. Five fish. I have my fish hands are eating this stupid chicken. Yeah, damn right. It is. Oh. He's huge. Is he legal? Ooh. He might be. Fifteen and a half. Don't even measure. Oh, you got fish there. Hold on, that oh, might be my fish. <laughs> it might. Is it hacks? It's mine. It's hacks. Boom. It's on the deadly double, isn't it? I'm just oh, that's a nice fish. Yeah. Is it? It's on the deadly double. You get half credit, Dan. Half credit. Yep. Two touch. <laughs> yep, it counts. Guys, check it out. Smaller fish like this that you can get your hands around. Grab them like that, right? That way you got them around the meat everywhere. You're not pushing in his lungs. You're not pushing in his gills. Get him around the meat like that. It'll do less damage to his internal organs. That way he lives a little bit better after you. Let him go. Number seven. Here we go. That makes it official touching him. Whoa. He's a little happy. That makes it official. I'm, there we go. Now I got eight. I think I'm three ahead of the, of the next closest person. Yo. Eight's the lead right now, guys. Eight's the lead. We're definitely in the right spot, man. John Fraser from Ocean City Guide Surf. Yeah! He's circling us. Yeah! <laughs> hey, it's no wake zone! <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, it's John. <laughs> John's like, I'll get in this video. He, do he docks right. Yeah, he docks right next to these guys. Oh, <laughs> hold on. He knew what was gonna happen. This son of. A <laughs> he knew what was gonna happen. <laughs> That's dock neighbors, man. They're dock neighbors. That's dock neighbor antics. <laughs> and fraternity brother. Yeah, that's antics. the kind of he knew who was on this boat today. That's what, he knew. <laughs> what number? That's number nine. That's number nine. nine. I can listen. In all fairness, in all fairness, I told these guys where to buy the shark and, and what to get. I said shark truce deadly double. <laughs> Paul Williams is the only one listening to me, and he's not even fishing anymore. I think he is. Folks, here we are, 15th annual Sigma Pi Flounder Pounder, and Scott Lennox, the pro of OC, is leading the pack with nine flounder on the boat. He doesn't have the biggest yet. 18 and a half inches was the biggest, and so far, he does not have that win. Tommy, what do you think is going to happen the rest of the way? I got Scooter, man. It's done. It's over. Put in the books. Uh, although, you got to get the bigger one, right? He does. Uh, the biggest. Okay. He's not conceding yet. He's, he's I don't like working. That. He's I don't working. Play. I'm still finishing my back nine, but 
I don't like concession. I don't like you conceding. We're but. working the fish in OC rigs too as well. They are tearing it up today. We've caught tons of fish. It's been an we awesome 15th fish. annual. We've caught a ton of fish. We'll see how this thing ends up. But right now, Mr. OC, Scott Lennox in the lead. And Hackett's not. They're sick. Close it in. Like, is that five for him? Yeah. No, he's got. How many is that? Like six, six, six. Oh, six. I must have missed one. You got, you got I four got more. Hot. He just got two in like thirty seconds. I know. He's hot. You went from three to six. You're hot, bitch. bear. Really? <laughs> How many now? Seven. One more. All right, two, two more. I just want one to make it really interesting. All right, there we go, man. I'm in the double digits flounder now. Double digit flounder. Mike Redox just down the rail here from me. He's looking at me. He's coming after me. Mike's coming after me. All right, guys, that's it, man. Captain Larry just called it. Dimitri's going around picking up all the uh, rental rods and stuff. There it is, baby. Most fish on board again. I got them. Ten. Got the double digits. The deadly double. Double digits, deadly double, man. Put it on your boat. You catch flounder. Old Droop over here finished with a nice fish. 18 incher. That's good for first place in the heaviest category. So we'll divide all this up here in just a second. But we'll take a quick break because what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do the old for a couple of friends that we've lost. See you in just a minute, we'll close things up. Guys, listen, man. Thanks very, thanks very much for, thanks very much for tuning into the YouTube channel here. I even hear from these guys; they're watching the YouTube, so we appreciate you guys very much. If you're not a subscriber already. Please hit the like and subscribe button like they're going to, all right? We're trying to bring you this stuff all the time. Here's how it broke down. I caught the most, 100 bucks goes to Scooter. Droop caught the biggest, 120. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. Remember guys, like our social media. It's iFishingOC on Instagram, FishingOC on Facebook. Get all of our tackle like that Deadly Double Man, deadly-tackle.com, all of our nightly fishing report and stuff. You'll see Droopy in tonight. FishingOC.com. All right, peace out, man. We'll see you next video. I love the chase and the hunt, and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want, and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no, I'm funded. Play the game like it's nothing. I'm always thankful for something. Don't take for granted.